a real-life example with hexadecimal numbers. So, anyone who has ever made a web page has probably seen something like the following. So, RGB 233233233 or hash CCC CCC. These numbers represent colors. The colors that you get when you mix red, green, and blue together. The first was an RGB triplet. There were three numbers. And the second is, a hex is in the hexadecimal format. So let's first look at the RGB triplet. So RGB 223223223223. So the first number represents red, the second number represents green, and the third number represents blue. Now the numbers can range in intensity from 0 to 255. Now 255 is actually 2 raised to 8 minus 1. And notice that all of these, all of these colors, red, green, and blue, are equal to each other, so when you mix these together you're going to get a gray. A few examples with RGB triplets. In this case we have 0, 0, 2, 5, 5. So red is turned off, green is turned off, and blue is turned on at full intensity. So we get a, 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 a full intensity blue. Now in this case we have RGB 200, 200, and 255. So blue is turned on at full intensity and red and green are both turned on at the same intensity. And whenever you have that, that case, it's like adding some gray to the mixture. Gray has white in it, and you lighten up the blue. So 200, 200, 255 is a lighter blue. So getting back to our hexadecimal base 16 number, what does this mean, hash? C, 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 C. So again, we have red, green, and blue. We have three numbers. The first two CCs represent the red. The second two CCs represent the green. And the third, third, the third group represents the blue. So we have three numbers here. And again, this is a gray. We have equal amounts of each color. And what exactly does CCCCCC mean? So we know that we have equal amounts of red, green, and blue, and we have a gray. But what do those numbers mean? Or actually, what do those letters mean? So why the letters? It goes like this. So if we write out our letters in our hexadecimal system, we have to have 16 digits or characters. So we write out our number starting at 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we run out of, of uh, numbers. So we use letters A, B, C, D, E, F. So as we can see, we've got 16 characters, but we had to borrow some letters. So let's look at our base 16 number again, CCFF22. But before we really look at the base 16 number, let's remind ourselves how base 10 works. So we'll look at this example, 256. Now when you look at the number 256, what the number means really depends on the position. So for example, 6 equals 6. But 5 is not equal to 5, it's actually equal to 5 times 10, which is 50. And 2 is not actually equal to 2, but it means 2 times 100. So let's write that out. And what we really have is this. So we have, starting at the left, 6 times 10 to the 0. And that's the 1's position. 
So 6 times 10 to the 0, 10 to the 0 is always equal to 1. Anything raised to 0 is equal to 1, so 6 times 1 is 6. Then in the second position, the middle position, we've got 5 times 10 to the 1. Anything raised to 1 is itself, so that's always 5 times 10, which is 50. And in the third, in the, in the third position, or the position on the left, we have 2 times 10 to the 2. 10 to the 2 is 100, that's 2 times, times 100 equals 200. And we calculate that. And of course we get 256. So now let's do the same thing with our hexadecimal number. So in this case, the 1s is the C on the right, and the 16s is the C on the left. So if we write that again, again, just as we did with base 10, we have C times 16 raised to 1 plus C times 16 raised to 0. Anything raised to 0 is 1, so it's C times C times 1, and plus C times 16 raised to 1. Anything raised to 1 is itself, so it's C times 16. Now the question is, what is C? And if we write out our numbers very quickly, we can see that we come to 9, and then we use our letters A, B, C, and C equals 12. So we finish our calculation. We get 192 plus 12 equals 204. So what we found was CC in hexadecimal is equal to 204 in base 10. Now we look at our other number, FF, and we do the exact same thing. So again, the F on the right is 16 raised to 0, is F times 16 raised to 0, and the F on the left is F times 16 raised to 1. So again, the question is, what is F? And we quickly write that out. And we see that F is 15. So we finish our calculation. And we find 240 plus 15 equals 255. So FF in hexadecimal is equal to 255 in the RGB or the base 10, and that's turned on at full intensity. And we do the same thing with the 22. So 2 times, 10, 2 times 16 to the 1 plus 2 times 16 to the 0, and we calculate that out, and that equals 34. And we found that CC FF22 equals RGB 204, 255, and 34. Now, we see that red is turned on at a pretty high intensity, green is turned on at full intensity, and blue, we just have a little bit of that. So we end up with a light, uh, with a lime green. Now, we cannot always know what the, what the color mix is going to give us, but understanding how it works can give us an idea. So let's look at a few examples. So for example, we have F, 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 F. Now, red, green, and blue are turned on at full intensity, and when you mix all colors together, then you end up with white in the additive color mixing model. So what if we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0? So red, green, and blue are all turned off, so the absence of color, and that would be black. Now what if we have F5, F5, F5? All of the colors are turned on in the same amount, so what we have in this case is a gray and it's also called white, sm white smoke in the web world. Now what about CC, 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 and AA, AA, AA? They're both grays because each, each color is turned on at the same intensity, but which is lighter? So if we look at our hexadecimal numbers, CC, CC, CC is greater than AA, 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 and so that's going to be a lighter gray. And what about FF9999? So again, red is turned on at full intensity, and green and blue are turned on in the same amount. So we're adding a little bit of gray, 
gray contains white, to our red, and that's going to lighten up our red a little bit. So we're going to have a red that is a little bit lighter than a full intensity red. Which is about all we can really say by looking at that or without having experience. So happy color mixing with hexadecimal numbers.